Dang it! <laughs> ah! It's stuck to my bracelet! Hi, hi, hello everyone! Thank you so much as always for being here. I appreciate you so, 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 so much. And I hope that life has been treating you well. So ever since I unboxed the Decora Girls package, I've had all three dolls sitting at my desk with me. Sometimes while doing my work, I'll just look at them and just smile because they bring me a lot of joy. Of course, you know, because they're very adorable. But on top of that, feeling very proud of all of our hard work and being able to see more decor representation, it really means a lot. I'm so happy and honored that we get to introduce decor to a new generation of kids, and I hope that these dolls bring y'all lots of joy too. Last month, I was in New York for the Decora Girls launch party. We headed there right after we got back home from our trip to Japan, and I also posted a little video on shorts of the experience. It was really, really wonderful. I dressed up in my Decora the doll cosplay, and I even got to meet the other dolls. So Celestia, Sweetie, and Luna. I also want to specify Decora the doll cosplay because I want to make it very clear that Decora fashion itself is a fashion and it is not cosplay. All right. So cosplaying is dressing up like a specific character. These characters are sourced from a variety of things such as movies, video games, anime, or even original designs. Whereas people who wear decor fashion are not trying to look like a character. They are simply just being themselves and they are expressing themselves through this fashion. Though of course you can incorporate Decora into cosplay, like for example in the past I did a Rainbow Dash wearing Decora fashion cosplay and also Tsuyu from My Hero Academia. So that's all good but I just want to make it clear because the rainbow this eh, yeah <laughs> the rainbow doll's name is Decora like that's literally her name. She <coughs> <laughs> So this is my daughter, Decora, <laughs> and today I'm going to be cosplaying as her. So I got my cosplay custom made and I will link the person that I commissioned in the description. They did a really wonderful job. With cosplay, you have the option of either making it yourself or buying a pre-made one from a cosplay store or commissioning someone. And there are pros and cons with each of these options. For me, since I didn't really have a lot of time to make it and I didn't feel skilled enough. I looked up cosplay commissions on Instagram and that's where I found the lovely person that I worked with. There is a lot of really talented people out there whose job is cosplay. So if you like making cosplays, maybe that is something that you could try pursuing. But these people, they can help you make your cosplay dreams a reality too. Like even if it's your own original character or character that's not really well known, you know, they've got you. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is her pink bodysuit. So so the shirt, it's actually like a one-piece suit. And here is my human version. It is also like a bodysuit. And on the back of it, it has a zipper. So you can get in and out of it easily. And then the bow is actually connected with a safety pin. So you can just take it off and put it back on or move it around wherever you want to put it. And I requested this fabric specifically because I wanted the cosplay to look very like doll-like, like very plastically, uh, pa plastically, <laughs> very plasticky, like a plasticky feeling that you get from something that's like fake. So I wanted very like shiny kinds of fabric for the cosplay. And then for the color block jacket, ta-da! So it actually functions like an actual jacket so you can zip it up like so and it has um yeah it's it's a jacket <laughs> and then right here she has her cute rainbow skirt with the yellow bow belt i too have a rainbow skirt with a bow belt and i like how with the bows that they made they added filling inside of it so that it'll be puffy and kind of give it like a 3d look instead of just being flat and it's really nice to dance around and when you twirl and stuff there's a lot of movement i also got her knee-high socks and fuzzy leg warmers custom made starting off with the socks it has like a really nice stretchy material to it and this right here is also attached with a safety pin just like the bows on the jacket too i got another Another one of these kind of to make it look like the stickers that come with the dolls you can just move it around wherever you want to probably my favorite piece out of the whole cosplay are the leg 
leg fuzzy warmers <laughs> fuzzy leg warmers so how they made it is they cut like piece 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 of each color and sewed it on together with like a fabric in there but the top part has elastic to stay on your leg but that's pretty much all of the stuff that i got custom made everything else for the cosplay is my own personal stuff but what we're gonna do now is i am going to go ahead and get into it and uh i guess do a little get ready with me <laughs> so here is today's outfit Ta -da! so let's go ahead and start off with the bodysuit got the bodysuit on and i also put a tutu skirt on top so that once i put this skirt on top it'll help kind of give some volume so it's not kind of just sitting flat and can be more poofy it's coming together so now the last part of the top that we need is a jacket now put this on oh. i'm gonna put the socks on so these go up pretty high actually and then the fuzzies Move. Okay. to kind of match the rainbow bag that she has i've got my own rainbow bag too i bought this second hand i think on like depop a long time ago but i feel like this was from forever 21 like a super long time ago if i'm not mistaken nice so now that we have the fit we need rainbow wig and <laughs> take all the clips off to rip them off i'm gonna put a wig cap okay. all right <laughs> thank you ah, it's stuck to my bracelet it gets in the way so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use these clippies so this is what the back looks like it's a little bit different from like the snap clips i think this is called like an alligator clip i'm not entirely sure but one of these kinds it's like it's just flat it's so that you can keep your hair to the sides in these two back see like the difference this is keeps falling on my face decora has bangs and this wig doesn't have bangs what i got i got rainbow bangs when i bought it it said that it's clip-on bangs but the bag of the bangs doesn't have any clips on it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use a bobby pin to pin it to this wig i got the bangs and this wig from ebay ebay has a lot of like different kinds of rainbow wigs let's go ahead and pop this on one on this side and then one on the other side i know it looks a little wonky right now but we are gonna fix that with the magic of just covering it up <laughs> with a lot of things what i have is this headband i think i got it from claire's like quite a while back if i'm not mistaken like you can obviously see like the separation over there so how we can hide that is we're gonna use this headband and then just plop it on top where the separation is i have one of these long beaded hair clips clip that on here underneath the headband i like this one because it says decor on it put another one on the other side to kind of make it symmetrical so for me with my hair clip application i like to start at the top and then just kind of work my way down so comb eh. through it real quick eh. <laughs> The wig keeps getting caught to my bracelet. Dang it. Gonna hold that down and then clip. Then hold that down and clip. The beauty of wigs is that it's a lot easier to just like put a bunch of hair clips on it. The scientific reason for that is because of like the texture of the wig helps kind of grip it in place and also the thickness of it because well for me my hair is very thin and so sometimes when I put hair clips on my natural hair the clip will just kind of fall off or there's like holes and stuff but the beauty of wigs is it's yes beautiful <laughs> so as you're going along you can just kind of comb through the wig and since that's puffing out i think what i'm oh wow what i'm gonna do is i'll take a hair clip and then just slide it on over and 
and it'll help keep it down. I don't really have a plan. I kind of just like try to Tetris everything all in onto the bangs. So if I see an empty spot, I just, you know, put a hair clip on there. It kind of just comes together that way. One of my favorite things to do is I'll put one of these snap clips and then I'll take another one and then make an X like that. Yay! Ah! I'm gonna fill in all of the holes and empty corners with the ha tiny hair clips that I used earlier. Pack of tiny clips that I got from Claire's. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, look at all those clippies! I think that is perfect to sort of give an illusion of a bigger head because the dolls have pretty big heads. I'm going to put these two clips right here to kind of make the head look bigger. And these are clips that I got from Claire's as well. I'm just gonna clip it back here and bam! Yay! <laughs> Last but certainly, certainly, certainly not least, we are gonna decorate the face. I found these Play-Doh Band-Aids and this one in the middle, I feel like it matches Decora's rainbow Band-Aid really well. So just like Decora, I'm gonna put it right on top of my nose. Yeah! I'm gonna also put some stickers. This one is really cute. It has a... Mm. Okay. Uh, ta -da! <laughs> oh my gosh. Spin. Ah! I'm just like you. You're just like me. Ah! She's like my mini me. Decora girls. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Twins. If you'd like to cosplay Decora 2 or any of the other dolls, because there's all kinds of different Decora styles and different Decora dolls that have different styles. So if you like more of like a darker look, there's Luna. If you like space kind of looks, there's Celestia. You could also create art in your favorite medium, like digital art. I've already seen a lot of really, really cool art that people have made. And the Decora Girls account is very on it with like sharing all of these works. So when you post it online, make sure you use the hashtag. I would love to see what you create. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. If you would like to check out the other Decora Girls uh, specific videos that I've made in the past i have a decor girls playlist but alrighty, i will see you in the next video take care and bye bye